SpaceX. So I figured I'd back off the serious topics for a little bit, and uh, here's something that I've always liked talking about: super villains. I'm a big fan of like superheroes and stuff. Batman is my favorite superhero, in case you wanted to know. But I really like talking about super villains, particularly super villains that aren't evil. And what I mean by that is like the Joker. The Joker is Batman's nemesis because he likes to be Batman's nemesis. But somebody like Mr. Freeze is bad and does bad things, not because he likes being a bad guy, but because he's kind of got a, a good reason to do the things that he's doing. His uh, wife has McGregor syndrome and she's kind of in like cryostasis or whatever. So he's trying to get money to uh, do the research to come up with a cure. And it just so happens that, you know, he has to like stay in the suit so that he stays cold and everything like that. He's not a bad guy per se. Like he's a bad guy, but he's not a bad person insofar as he wants to do bad things. He just wants to do something good. And the easiest way to do that is for him to steal money with his cronies. There's always a subtle difference between those types of super villains and the ones like the Joker who just do evil things because you can always detect just the slightest element of humanity in them. You can't hate them through and through because there's something good about them that causes them to do bad things. Another example of that would be uh, Otto Octavius in Spider-Man 2. Um, I'm not so well versed about what Doc Ock is like in the comic books, uh, but in the movie, he starts off as this very nice guy. He's got a beautiful wife and, and he loves her and he's trying to uh, come up with cheap energy. It's a good thing, it's a humanitarian thing and Harry Osborn keeps saying, you know, Nobel Prize and it's a big deal. And then the arms take control of him. He's in the little uh, rundown place where he ends up building the next fusion generator. He's thinking, that, no, we can't steal the money. The arms, the artificial arms are telling him, you know, steal the money. And he says, no, we can't do that, that's wrong. And then he says, after they've talked to him, like inside his brain, he says, that's right, the real crime would be to not finish what we started. So there's kind of this weighing of what's worse. Stealing money, that's bad, but not finishing the project that could give everyone cheap or free energy all over the world, you have to make a judgment call there. And, you know, a lot of us who are good, you know, we want to say, well, you can't steal the money. You can't do good things by bad means. You know, you can't be so Machiavellian as that. But they think in, in a way, in a different way, that if I take one step forward to take two steps back, that's a good thing. If I have to be a little bit evil to do it, then that's a risk I'm willing to take. Also, another one of my favorite supervillains is Two-Face. Not because he has that whole thing going on like Doc Ock and, and Mr. Freeze, but, but because he's so divided. Everything is about justice. Um, and not Dark Knight Two-Face is a little bit different than like, you know, earlier Two-Face, like comic book Two-Face. There's actually a part even uh, in, in, in one of the Batman comic books where uh, Commissioner Gordon is like, uh, Two-Face like takes over Gotham and puts uh, Commissioner Gordon on trial, but then he calls Harvey Dent to be his defense attorney. So Two-Face is like arguing with himself and trying to figure out who, you know, he, he has to, to have this battle within himself to find out who's right. I don't really have any funny gimmicks or anything to do for you this time, but uh, the uh, my video about North Korea got like 60 views. So hey, we're coming up in the world. <laughs>